Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and this is a quick look at uh, today, Patch Tuesday. We are December 13th, 2016, and this is the second Tuesday of the month, so it is Security Tuesday, as Microsoft likes to call it. So a certain number of updates came in to, uh, today. If you look at your Windows updates, uh, let's go here into Settings, Windows Updates. Of course, if you check for updates, they should apply. And here you'll have the three updates for Windows 10, but depending on the system that you're using, uh, it might be more than three. Um, there could be four or five updates. So uh, there's a cumulative update for Windows 10 here, KB3206632. There's a security update for Adobe Flash, and of course the update to the Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool. And uh, all this happened today, December 13th. So what do these fix actually? Uh, basically, they uh, fix a certain number of issues um, and the issues that are fixed with these updates, um, well, it's a mix of fix and also of uh, flaws or security problems. So first, there are a few fixes like improved reliability of security support provider interface. They have fixed a service crash in the CDPS, uh, a CDP service that in some situations could lead machine not to being able to acquire an IP address. So if you had problems with the internet with one of the last updates, this fixes the issue. Uh, the issue, they address an issue where the catalog sign module installation does not work on a nano server. Address the issue with devices left with hello on for excessive amount of time and not go into power saving mode. Uh, issue with uh, GL point size not to work properly when used with draw elements method in Internet Explorer 11. Uh, issues where Azure or Azure um, Active Directory join machines after going to Windows 10 version 16.07 cannot sync with Exchange. Address additional issues with app compatibility, the updated time zone information, and Internet Explorer. Now, there's security updates also. And by the way, if you want to know if you have updated correctly, if you type WinVer in Windows 10 in the Cartana search, you should be right now at 14393.576. This is the version for you. If you're on previous versions of Windows, the original Windows 10 or Win, uh, uh, Windows 1511, you have also been updated in your Windows version. So the security bulletin for Dispatch Tuesday actually has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six critical updates. Critical means they're already exploited in the wild by bad guys. And of course the rest is important. Important means that it has to be done, but it's not a uh, severe or it's not something that is right now a big problem. So there's a cumulative security update for Internet Explorer. It resolves when the, uh, flaws in the Internet Explorer. Most severe of uh, these flaws could allow remote code execution. So uh, people could actually, you know, basically get access to your PC and do whatever they want. The next one is a cumulative security update for Microsoft Edge. Same thing. It has uh, problems where uh, it um, a user with a specially crafted web page can access um, a flaw in Edge that would make remote code execution possible. Now we don't know in here if it adds a fix and uh, we're not sure, I don't, I would not think so, but I'm not sure there's a fix here for that um, Microsoft Edge uh, smart screen filter problem. Then you have a security update for Microsoft graphics component, once again critical a uh, specially crafted website can open a specially crafted document that would exploit this flaw. Security update for Microsoft Uniscribe. Um, the, this flaw could allow remote code execution if a user visits a specially crafted website or opens a specially crafted document. And uh, also, security update for Microsoft Office. So if you have Office installed, there's a security update for you guys. Then you have another critical one, which is the Adobe Flash problem. So Adobe Flash Player is uh, once again critical update for Flash 
gives us an idea that Flash really needs to be removed from our computers eventually. So uh, if you are um, updating, you'll have one update for this. Then what do you have also? Um, you also have important updates in here. And these important updates include a security update for Microsoft Windows. So um, there could be a uh, update to the security and to the uh, take control of the computer if somebody would eventually uh, run the correct code uh, in the PC and it would actually give you a uh, elevation of privilege, meaning you can take a regular user and send it to admin if you want. Uh, security update for secure kernel mode, same thing. Security update for Windows kernel mode drivers and uh, security update for Windows kernel, simply. Also security update for common log files system driver. So these are all the updates that appear today. Uh, one last one here that I forgot is uh, security update for .NET framework also. And that's an important one. So these are all what it fixes and what it um, basically will close for security holes on your Windows operating system. Um, on my PC it took about, I don't know, seven or eight minutes to install, not really much more. Uh, depending on the machine you have, it could take up to 20, 30 minutes, uh, but it uh, will, of course. Um, you know, fixed security flaws are very important to uh, upgrade your machines if you want to stay safe. So uh, this was Patch Tuesday for December 13th, 2016. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe and you'll know when new videos are online. Thank you for watching and hope that uh, you update your PC to uh, these new security fixes and also a few uh, bug fixes.